been nine years ago today that the whole country was shook when reports surfaced that around 58 people, including media men, were mercilessly butchered in Maguindanao. But a glimmer of hope is right around the corner. The government says the case will soon come to a close next year. Joby Francisco with the report. After a legal process that stretched for almost a decade, the government expects a verdict will be handed down on the Maguindanao massacre case by the first quarter of the coming year. That's according to PCOO Undersecretary Joel Edgo, the director of the Presidential Task Force on Media Security, who even stated in an episode of The Chiefs that he is willing to resign if none of the principal accused in the 2009 massacre is found guilty. And if none of the principal accused would be found guilty, once the, the uh, promulgation uh, was over, I will resign. By, op by optimistic, of course, you mean you're expecting someone to be convicted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least the found accused, guilty. accused found mastermind. Guilty. Yeah, found and guilty. If they, if they would not be found guilty, I will resign. Yeah, no, no, optimistic. Dito. We're talking about uh, Junior and, and the Junior and, and the, uh, other, uh, <laughs> yeah, the other Ampatu ones. Mm. So, but, go naman. And we believe that uh, we really have a very strong case against them. A Quezon City court is set to rule on the case against members of the Ampatuan clan and several other primary suspects. There are a total of 197 accused in the carnage, including members of the clan. In 2009, 58 people, including 32 media workers, who were covering the filing of candidacy of a political rival of then Maguindanao Governor Andal Ampatuan Jr., were abducted and killed on a remote hilltop in Sichu Masalay, Barangay Salman, Ampatuan Town. In the past nine years, families of the victims were exposed to several curveballs while waiting for justice. Aside from the long wait, they were surprised when some witnesses backed out even recanting their testimonies. Several family members claimed that they were being offered payment by the Ambatuans in order to withdraw the case. Several families have reportedly signed quit claims or blank sheets of paper. And they also cried foul over supposed special treatment given the accused. Then in 2015, the primary suspect in the massacre, Andal Ampatuan Sr., died of heart failure before the case could be finished. Should this come to a guilty verdict, nine years later, granted, what does that count for? Well, it will send a signal that whether you are a powerful ally of a powerful official or whatever, that there will be justice down the line. There will be that message. But despite the government's optimism about the possible outcome of the case, Center for Media Freedom and Responsibility Executive Director Melinda Quintos de Jesus says the future looks bleak if people will not learn from what happened in Maguindanao and if we will allow the culture of impunity to continue thriving around us. And yet, even now, nine years later, I think we still have to remind each other, oh, that's right, there is a November 23. Oh, that's right, we need to do it. Why are we doing it only during the anniversary? And it could happen again. The environment that created this. Yes. Jovi Francisco, we are One News.